Here we're going to explore the basics of how our brain works physically, fascinating and complex subject matter and understanding even the basics of neuroscience will support our appreciation of how we learn and get better at any skill, capability and any aspect of mindset. Before we get into this, I want you to first think of a time that you've given up on something, maybe stopped pursuing something or written it off down to not feeling good, smart or talented enough. Now this can be in or out the workplace, presentation skills, musical instrument, learning a language, a sport, hobby, craft, maybe even a new promotion or new skill development at work. Something that you have doubted your ability in, that you'd, you wish you'd continued with, or would like to pick up. It was once believed that when we reached adulthood, our brain stopped developing, stopped and stopped growing. But modern neuroscience, with the advancement of fMRI technology, now know that that is untrue. Our brain is there to help us meet new demands because it's continually molding, adapting, and building new neural pathways as we learn new things and do things differently. In our brain, there's around 86 billion neuron cells, each capable of connecting to hundreds of thousands of others. And these are specialized cells that transmit information and form pathways as we learn new things, think, feel, and act maybe in a different way. Now, neurons are the building blocks of our brain, and each one can make trillions of connections every single second. Neurotransmitters are the communicators and language of this information. For example, serotonin, dopamine and glutamate. When we think about something differently or learn a new skill, we begin to make new connections between neurons. Every time we practice a skill, do something a particular way or feel a specific emotion, that neural pathway is strengthened and it becomes easier for our brain to follow. If we keep doing this, our brains adapt and this new way of thinking, feeling or doing becomes habit. The less we use our old pathways, the weaker they become. This ability to make new neural connections is neuroplasticity, meaning our brains are adaptable, can grow and change no matter our start point. New skills can be developed and unhelpful habits can be replaced. Think of it like your journey home from work, whether that's walking, maybe in the car or on the bus. You know the route very well. You travel it twice each day and you're confident you know where to go without looking at a map. This is a strong neural pathway. But let's say today after work, you decide to travel a completely new route home, down unfamiliar roads that you've never been down before. You'll likely get the directions off a map and need to follow it, and it might take you longer than your normal route that you know really well. This is a new neural pathway. The more you travel this new pathway, this new route, the more practice you give to it, the more familiar you become. And over time, you no longer need to use a map. You could do it with your eyes shut, perhaps not literally, but you no longer need to focus on each turn in the road. This new neural pathway is strengthening because we're using it more. With even more practice, we can travel this route faster and it becomes habit because you're no longer traveling the original route, that pathway, weakens. The saying goes, neurons that fire together, wire together. Repeating firing signals that this neural pathway is important, which alerts specialized glial cells in our brain that this pathway needs to be upgraded or insulated. And the process of myelination begins. Myelin is an insulating layer that surrounds the axon of some neurons like an electrical wire is wrapped in protective coating. Because myelin is white, myelinated axons appear white and make up what is known as the white matter of the brain. The gray matter is the neuron body itself. Now, composed of primarily fatty acids, lipids, myelin helps prevent action potentials, 
which are the electrical signals that travel along the axons of the neurons from decaying due to electrical current leaking through the axon membrane. It almost acts like a sheath and allows for very quick travel. Non-myelinated neurons transfer information at around 0.2 to 1 meter a second. Myelinated neurons transfer between 2 to 120 meters per second. They're incredibly fast and optimized for efficiency. They also become our default as the brain will choose the most highly myelinated pathways because they're most important. And this is how we form new habits. So think of something you do every single day, maybe a habit that you have. The first day you did this was probably very considered and slow and you might have made a lot of mistakes. Compare this to how you do it now. You've built a highly myelinated neural pathway in your brain to enable you to do it without even realizing. Neuroplasticity is such an empowering thing to discover. Our brain is there as our greatest tool, no matter what challenge we face in our work life or home life, to mold, adapt, and learn and support us. The thing that you've given up on. Neuroscience proves that with targeted effort, you can get better and you can do it. All thanks to our brain, to our neurons, and to myelination. The key points are no matter our start point with targeted effort and myelination practice, we can improve and learn new things because our brain is there to physically adapt to meet new demands.